Muy buenas a todos chicos, estoy aquí con Mikey X, el support de G2, que acaba de ganar por otra vez. Eh, ya van cuatro de cuatro partidas ganadas, invictos en esta, en esta primera temporada. Uh, first of all, thank you very much for being here. For O, again. Is the same story this year than the last one? Yeah, looks like it, pretty much. Um, maybe Fnatic will, could take a game, but I guess we'll see. Fnatic and Wayno Origin. Yeah, I mean, Origin, yeah. We just kind of beat them and it didn't look, I mean, they looked strong, but like, not like, I think we won't do so the next time either. But I think Fnatic looks pretty good in their matches, except against Origin, I guess. Um, so I guess, I think in my mind, they're like the only team that could actually take a game out of, of us, so yeah. Mm -hmm. Last year you had like only Fnatic behind you. Uh, this year, do you think you may have more teams? Because, for example, we we're see, we can see that Rogue are really strong. Excel may surprise us. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think um, Origin and Rogue mm -hmm. could be like potential contenders. I just don't see them like winning the split. I mm -hmm. think it's between us or Fnatic to win the split. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't like. I mean, I, w I wouldn't be surprised if they came far, but yeah, I don't think they can beat us in a best of five, honestly. Do you think right now that you are stronger than last year or the same? Mm, I think right now at this point, it's kind of similar, mm -hmm. I think, because we still have a lot of room to grow. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I guess we'll see how it goes. <laughs> how is it playing with Caps in the bot lane? Oh, it's really fun because he's also a player that likes to play a lot of weird champs like me. Um, we didn't pull of them. I uh, didn't pull any of them off yet. Mm -hmm. But we're like have a lot of picks prepared. We wanted to play today, but I guess Senna was open and Senna's pretty OP, yeah. so we had to pick it. And hopefully, when the OP champs get a few nerfs, then we can play like some crazy stuff. Crazy stuff, like last year, I guess. Who's yeah. the best uh, Eddie Carry? Perks or Caps? <laughs> well, right now Caps is undefeated. He is 4-0 mm -hmm. on his ADK roll. Um, Perks could not say that after last year. We did lose some games <laughs> with him. So I'm gonna have to say Caps right now, yeah. The undefeated AD carry. And who's better mid laner? Um, I would have to say Perks, obviously <laughs> better mid laner. He's also undefeated on actually wait, he's not Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Perks. <laughs> yeah, I was I was hoping that you say Bander, <laughs> but you know actually, I'm the better mid laner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you have a really good Gragas, like so Gragas is pretty clean. Yeah. <laughs> uh next question uh would be um do you think that this meta is good? for your style? Because, okay, you, you, you just told me that you, you have really uh, a lot of surprises. Uh, meta is changing this week. Uh, we are going to have a nerf for a lot of AD carries and buffs to to some champions like uh, Galio, you know, like it brings me memories. Asir, Corky, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you think it's going to be good for you, for you too? Um, honestly, I think whatever meta is fine with us. I think we don't really have like a preferred meta. I think what's good for us maybe is we can if we can flex multiple champions, multiple roles. I think that's like really good for us. But even if we can't, I think we're still a good team. And I don't think like after next patch we're gonna be any worse. And I think the meta right now is pretty good. I mean, usually games go pretty late, um, but I think we're fine with games going late or even early. Like. Yeah, we really just don't care. <laughs> and do you like uh, the meta right now for the super role, or is it like the same that you don't give a single back because <laughs> of that? I mean, I personally don't really like it because Nautilus Leon are still pretty OP, but uh, then again, people are starting to play more champions like Rakan, Brom, mm -hmm. Thresh. Yeah. I play Thresh two days. Um, so I think it's getting a bit more diverse, but before last week when it was mostly Nautilus Leona, it was pretty boring. So hopefully those two get nerfed, so more champs become blind pickable. Mm -hmm. Good, good. Um, what's your goal uh, for this year? Because it's crazy to think that you almost achieved heaven last year, like uh, win everything, even worlds, and now start again. It's like, isn't it like, oh my God, here we go again? I'm too lazy for that. Or no? Um, no, it's kind of a new challenge because maybe we can do even better. For example, we could win all the whole regular split. We could win playoffs without dropping a game, you know, we could like even improve on last year, even though last year was pretty good. We still had like a lot of um, bad games in general, so we weren't really consistent. We we're losing to like a lot of worse teams than us. Even at like MSI where we won, we like lost a lot of games in group stages. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we are trying to work on that and yeah, be more consistent, I guess. And how are you working on that? Are you watching LPL streams or are you studying Chinese teams, Korean teams? Um, not really. 
uh, we're just like more focused in our scrims. Mm -hmm. We're not like trolling around trolling. as much <laughs> as last year because last year was like a bit extreme. Um, and we're taking it like, I guess, more serious. Um, and I think it's kind of showing. I think these last two games we were doing pretty well. There weren't like a lot of kills. There were really bloody games. Um, yeah. So yeah, I guess it's getting better. Yeah, you're not trolling anymore uh, on streams. But yesterday you, you picked Soraka top again. Isn't it trolling or what is it? Um, well, <laughs> I don't think it's trolling. I think it looks pretty strong. Yeah, um, I mean, it also looked strong last year when we played it. If we just played it with Smite. Mm -hmm. I think the Smite was a troll part. <laughs> but uh, just Soraka top in general is actually pretty strong. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Would you play Soraka? You are a support, so in Soraka is a support, so... Uh, I mean, I think on, on bot lane it's a bit harder, because mm -hmm. you actually play against champs that can CC you and one-shot you. Like mm -hmm. Nautilus, if you hook Soraka, he probably is going to die. Mm -hmm. But on top lane, you can just kind of even like lane bully opponents, because you're a ranged champ and you have a lot of sustain. Um, but yeah, for bot lane it's a bit harder. Mm -hmm. Well, good luck with this 18-0 record. I, I hope you get it. And is there anything you want to say to the people who support you? Um, yeah, just thanks for supporting us so far. Hopefully we'll do even better this year than last year. And yeah, stay tuned. Thank you very much for being here. Y eso ha sido todo, chicos. Espero que os haya gustado esta, entre esta entrevista. Esta y muchas más en el canal de YouTube de la LVP. Hasta luego.